The arts can change the world. Travel with me, artist John Dyer. Be inspired. Learn about plants, animals and people. Connect to tribal culture. Create, paint, exhibit, connect. Welcome to Last Chance to Paint with me, artist John Dyer. And me, musician Martha Lily Dyer. <laughs> Spirit of the Rainforest, the first chapter of Last Chance to Paint, is very kindly supported by Procreate. And I got to use the Procreate app on my iPad in the rainforest, and it was fantastic. Sitting amongst the plants, drawing and painting digitally, it was a whole new experience and with some wonderful results. We're waiting for Robin to arrive and the nice lady who lives in the house next to us just came over to me and gave me these feathers on beads, which is really nice. She said that you can hang them up or tie them on your clothes or tie them in your hair. And that's why I thought that was really sweet. And we've just had a bake, so hopefully Robin and Merlin are here now. Exciting. Well, this is sheer magic for me. I mean, Nishiwaka must have known that I grew up in a tree house in Ireland on a lake. I used to have to row ashore and it was heaven. That was my childhood. I, I learned about exploring by being alone from the age of seven. My mother, I should have been taken into care, but my mother allowed me from the age of seven to live on this island and um, then come home in the daytime. And uh, I had a tree house beautiful tree house that I built there, the end of the war, with a refugee boy who came over from England, from London. And uh, that was my paradise. But this is sort of mega paradise, because here, Nishi and, and the Awanawa have built this beautiful big round house, which is where we're sleeping, and this tree house next to it, which is high, high above the ground, and where the trees actually grow up through. And that's so unusual to have a house where the trees are part of the structure without any nails or any damage to the tree. They're just there. So John's drinking some coconut water straight out of the coconut because he wasn't feeling so well this morning and this is a really good remedy for that. This is a fruit which helps with digestion and it's one of the natural remedies the tribe uses. So when we woke up today it was raining really quite heavily and that means that we can't paint outside. It also means that we can't charge any of our devices and at the moment all of them are out of power, which is a bit annoying. So the tribe has been very helpful and they've turned on the generator for us, which means that all the lights are on. As I use water-based acrylic paint and the other artists are using watercolour, the rain is really not our friend. And the Yawanawa do use a lot of diesel and diesel generators to create electricity. Um, and they very kindly offered to charge up our batteries while we were painting. It didn't actually work, unfortunately, so it still left us completely out of power. Using acrylic paint in the rainforest is a challenge anyway, because I'm so used to it drying immediately, but it does tend to stay very wet. And with the rain coming down outside this tree house, that was even worse. However, you can work wet on wet, you just have to adjust the way you work, and every so often you need to walk away from the painting and just let it dry down for half an hour. <laughs> While Nishiwaka and myself were painting, Merlin Hanbury Tennyson went off into the rainforest for a walk and didn't realise he was going to be taking part in a tribal ceremony. Uh, well, I had no idea what was going on, but I, um, I was told to sit down and take my top off and two girls who are initiate shamans, so they're training to become shamans, uh, just started painting on me. Apparently it's going to last for five days. Uh, no way, it's, it's going to be weeks, I reckon. It's, it's the first stage uh, of accessing the mother and the spirits of the forest, apparently, and I've been painted as an anaconda because that was when they sat down, what they, what they saw and what they felt. Um, and yeah, it took about an hour of them painting me, but I, I think it looks all right. No. <laughs> 
the other artists are doing some really good drawings and paintings as well so let's have a look at what they've been getting up to today <laughs> So today's painting is all about uh, an experience that Robin had this morning. He slept in this fantastic treehouse that we're painting in tonight and as they woke up, a whole troop of white monkeys with black faces came to visit and lots and lots of birds exploded from the trees and he's so super excited. So I thought I'd paint Robin's story with the wonderful rainforest behind me. And this morning early, I was first awoken by a really noisy lot of birds whose name I will find out shortly, who came and greeted us and made a frightful racket. And Nishi was kind enough to say that they'd come to welcome us to the forest, which I took with a slight pinch of salt, but I love his stories. And then we came up here early, just as the sun was coming up, up to the top of this place. And there, right above our heads, to my amazement, were half a dozen little white monkeys, about this big, with long white tails and little black faces, who were looking at us round the trees like this and were saying, what are you doing here? And I couldn't believe it because, you know, the, the, the Yawanawa eat everything. You know, I mean, they hunt, they're great hunters. They live off the bush. And I said, don't you ever eat those monkeys? Yeah, we could, but we like them. We don't eat those, we keep them as pets sometimes. And they come here and steal our bananas. And they were sweet and greeted us. And so I feel completely at home here. We're very similar to the Yawanawa. And as you can see, they're playing football. Look, I found a what's it. According to Nishi, the Rio Gregorio goes on for three days. You can get up the river. It gets increasingly difficult. But after three days, you reach the Peruvian border. And then there's no mark or anything on the border, but you could cross. And then I said, how do you get across Peru? He said, you walk. Huh? Oh, my God. 